heart cry of every Nigerian is for life. First of all, they want to be alive. They want to be able to travel across the country safely. They want to be able to buy food, uh, basically to live like normal human beings. That's what gave birth to this song. The song is like inspiration. It's something that you know should give us hope, should give us courage to to keep pushing, keep doing our best to you know to at least work with try. You know, it will be bad if we don't try at all. You understand? So for me, the situation is not, it, the situation is terrible in Nigeria um, for so many years now, and I think it's high time that you know we just we just start to get our acts together, man. This is very shameful now. It's, it's not even funny anymore. It speaks to just where we are as a people. We are antsy, we're angry, we're concerned, um, we are despondent. Why a lot of things. But you know, in true Nigerian fashion, we're all so sort of hopeful against all odds. Um, but what continues to happen is just, you know, the, the lack of, we, we see an apparent lack of value for human life. Um, and, you know, and so we're just saying with this song that, you know, we choose life, we choose, we choose life, we choose to value life, we choose to live life. Um, and we choose to live life in this space because this is all we've got. So it's a reflection of the current state of the country and just the need to pass on a positive message and say, look, man, we can be better than this. We can be better than this. And, you know, it's, um, there are certain things from, you know, we have foundational issues, but, you know, we can set ourselves up for a better future. The way forward for Nigeria is to have good selfless leadership. Leadership that has vision to make this country great. That is the first step. Every other thing will fall into place after that. When we have leaders who have direction for us, a direction that is positive, a direction that is good, that takes us from where we are to a place of hope, that is the beginning. So it's a reflection of the current state of the country and just the need to pass on a positive message and say, look, man, we can be better than this. If you go to developed countries, there are still people who break the law, but there are systems that check them. So I think if we start by just leading by example, everything else will fall into place. I think everybody should just strive to make their space a better place because um, I think so many things start from inside our mind, our mindset, our, our hearts. So we, we, we just have to open our eyes, we just have to wake up from this deep sleep that you know, we seem to be in. Across Africa, across the black world, you know, it's just crazy. You know, you can't make, you can't make uh, uh, you can't make uh, you, they talk, say, ah, black people, you know, they ever fit complete, you know, get said, you know, but it's not like that. You know, we are, we are, we are, I mean, I think we are, I think we are the most welcoming people on the planet. You know, I think we are the most loving people on the planet. I think we have, you know, whatever, everything that it takes, you know, but I think that, you know, um, um, some, some, some forces, some balance don't shift. And you know, it's, it's natural that, you know, everybody else wants to protect their own side. You know, and if you, if you are weak, they will take advantage of you. And I think that's what's happening to Africa. Africa is so weak right now. You know, and everybody's taking advantage of Africa. Nobody's, nobody's actually our friend. Everybody's taking, taking, taking. They're not doing, they're not really doing anything for Africa. Because they, they cannot do anything for Africa. They should not be the ones to do anything for Africa. It's, it's, it's supposed to be us that do stuff. You know, I, I mean, I can confidently say that that it's Africa that feeds majority of the world, not even majority, you know, and I think it's, it's shameful for us to still be in this level. We just have to change our education system, change our mindset, change our orientations, 
we just have to start from that space, from our mind. It has nothing to do with technology, it has nothing to do with everything there for this world for us. And everything is abundant in Africa. You know, so we don't need no foreign uh, um, hand or help or you know, we just need to turn to job like we, we will be antelope. If if lion no kill us, uh, crocodile will kill us, if crocodile no kill us, uh, hyena go show up. If hyena no kill us, uh, what if we do the other one, uh, we can't be antelope. So I must admit that there are times when I have considered, you know, throwing in the towel as far as you know the Nigerian idea is concerned. As a matter of fact, there was a time when, you know, I think I checked out for a little bit and, you know, spent some time in the States. And, um, I, you know, after a while, I realized that, you know, I had sold a dream of what was possible to a lot of young Nigerians and I had to lead by example. And so I came back and um, I, I feel a strong sense of burden to be here and to contribute to growing Nigeria. I'm one of those people who, you know, we want to see it through, you know, and I, I sort of still remain in that in that position. So yes, I have felt the need to just take off. And you know, it's interesting because it's easy for me to feel that way because you know I have the privilege to do so. But I'm constantly reminded of the people who don't have that same privilege, and um, it just sort of chides me and just calls me back to order and just says, look here is an opportunity. You know, it can either be an opportunity you take advantage of, or it can be a missed opportunity. I feel like quitting all the time. I just don't. What keeps me going is the strength of my vision, the strength of my passion, and also the desire that I want somebody to look at me and to see me as an inspiration. I want people to see me as an inspiration, as a solution. I do not want to be seen as somebody who gave up. We don't have to be uh, savages to, 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 be, to, 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 make, to make the world a better place. You know, but we just have to be strong. We have to protect protect our ourselves, our territory, our land, our continent. We just have to rise up. It's shameful now, man. But I'm always reminded that Nigeria is an opportunity, and I would hate to be one who misses the opportunity called Nigeria. Be the change. I think it's going to be foolhardy to think that change will come from people in strong positions. We should be that change. In your little environment, be the positive change that moves somebody forward. Be the positive change that creates positive traction. It may not go so far, but let us start. There are almost 200 million Nigerians. If out of 200 million Nigerians, 150 million Nigerians decide that, I'm going to do the right thing. The other 50 million that's doing negative things will be irrelevant. I think we should just have the, a positive attitude that wants to be the change.